check for advanced restart button it's available boot into recovery if you don't have that you can use traditional method to unlock into bootloader by pressing the volume up button and power button for the links of this twrp i made a dedicated video you can check out here and i will also give the i already gave the link to that in the community section you can check out there here we go it's booting into recovery this is the latest recovery available for poco x3 go to wipe section and select here advanced wipe and select dalvik catch and data and swipe here to wipe it done go to home section and again select install and select the micro sd card and select wherever you downloaded the rom zip files before that first flash the 12.5.5.0 global firmware and the community link it's given all the three firmwares are available global in global and eea you can download all the three but mostly you will be using this global firmware go to home section and again select install and select here rom zip files android 11 evolution x rom here i'm showing this video later i will show you by colors as you can see the evolution x version 11 with android 11 this is a and uh, mars security patch has been given here it takes a little bit of time to flash the rom wait until it gets flashed as you can see rom zip file has been flashed go to home section and select here wipe and select format data and type here yes and press this tick button done go to reboot and select system this is the flashing method for evolution x and 11 based last version it is let's see what all the android benchmark result and geek when scores and vgm gameplay and battery life everything will be explained in detail watch till the end of the video and here we go see it booted into evolution x rom let's begin this video hey hi hello welcome back to my new video guys this is Sampathy watching Sampath Samfx Poco X3 custom ROM reviews this is Poco X3 and this is the Evolution X version 5.9.4 ALTS with Android version 11 and security patch with January 2021 I mean system update and security patch is 5th March 2022 latest available build with Android 11 and it's an LTS support and kernel user is 4.14.190 quick silver perf surya kernel has been used build date you can see here march 27 the latest one and still next status is m forcing and i have been running the cpu throttling test from last 10 minutes and 7 milliseconds you can see here the maximum is 152 and average is 147 and minimum is 138 gaps and it's total to 95 percent of its maximum performance this is how the home screen looks as you can see i have installed this kind of apps into this particular rom it's working fine actually and here the quick settings manual you get old android 11 style if you are already used that you will be familiar about this and this is the settings panel you can see here i will decrease a little bit of brightness it's too bright okay now it's fine i guess okay now into benchmark results first let me show you the android benchmark results in this particular lm as you can see three lakh fifty eight thousand six and the temperature raise was just 1.3 degree celsius and two percentage of battery drop has been noticed during this testing this is the scores it's pretty good even android 12 roms are getting similar scores i don't complain about that and regarding Geekbench score, as you can see, single score is 513 and multi score is 1553. And the kernel user is Linux 1, sorry, 4.14.190. Quick Silver Perf Surya kernel has been used. That's how the benchmark results. And coming to dialer, let me increase a little bit of volume here. Okay, this is how the volume panel level get. Let's dial. Here we go. You will get direct video call feature available in this room. And let's see call recording feature is available or not. Yes, there is a call recording feature also. But it will notify the other person that you are recording the call. That how it is. And you will get basic things fine. The earpiece also fine enough while taking the calls. That's not the problem here. And coming to safety status in this room. 
it might get passed it's an unofficial build yeah it get passed that's fine you can use all the payment applications like google pay and even the whatsapp everything will be working fine in the rom that's not a problem and coming to speed test i have here like 100 mps plan it is pulling up to 90 to 95 even with mobile data connection also it's fine enough not a problem let me turn off this sync okay that's how it is everything is working fine in this particular rom let's see into the setting before that there is a camera pre-install but it keeps getting close but anyhow many people are know that i have a arno build a g cam board that's available you can dm me insta i will give many people getting that and happy with that g cam because it works on both android 11 and 12 with ultra wide angle support and a next camera can be flashable in this android 11 based evolution x rom and i have got some good news here that uh, a next camera for android 12 is also going to be out soon i got a link i will test it out in upcoming builds that's how it is and if you're first time to this channel hit that subscribe button down below guys and also follow the bell notification by pressing the bell icon and if you like the video give it a like and here we go i will uninstall this camera because it's not working disable it out and use the gcam what i always show you in all the videos of poco x and the, here we have one more option like dolby audio that is moto audio tuned by dolby that also you will get you can customize them even with speakers dual stereo speakers and even with headphone jack also you can use that that's working fine in the rom that will make a little bit of difference in audio experience while you are playing games or listening music or even watching videos it makes a little bit of different definitely use this option moto audio you can customize them there are presets available like music film game and custom even further also you can customize them as you can see bass boost vocal boost manual treble triple and bass controls are also given here you can customize them that's how it will be cool feature to have and into the settings and lot more settings let's discuss here into the evolver you get themes status bar notification quick settings power menu gestures lock screen buttons animation miscellaneous and evolution x about that's it and into the theme section you get ascent color picker and ascent color presets are also given you can directly choose that and dark theme let me enable first okay where is to enable there is no option to enable that let me enable from QS panel okay that's it and now you can choose the options here pitch black condition this is very important that's why I always speak about that pitch black condition in and tall ROMs as you can see now it's in pitch black condition let me go back as you can see into the settings panel this is the quick panel all the settings app drawer and quick settings panel even with settings also this is how the dark mode looks like you can see this how the dark mode looks so into the evolver settings again and into themes there is an option to disable dark mode here i will uh, disable from qs panel and the brightness is a little bit not okay now it's fine enough and uh, font style you can just icon shape back around it corner settings dashboard icons and toggle switch and g visual mode and lock screen clock style also you can customize from here as you can see plenty are given you can given keep and tool dp3 and beta and actual and tool style and samsung one plus shape shift rom plenty are given you can change them and display cutout background alpha qv style tint style account style and disco volume panel style also you can change it as you can see there are few of the options i mean customization are available in this particular rom into status bar you get plenty of options again as you can see battery bar clock and tide and date and network traffic monitor is also given many people ask about this also and regarding pattern unlock 6 by 6 is also available that also people ask me in comment section uh, every time and battery indicator you can choose from here and show 4 g instead of lte use old style mobile data icons roaming indicator those things are also given in this rom into the notifications you get again ticker heads up and artwork media background that also you can adjust as you can see you can adjust the fade level from here and notification headers vibrate for notification kill app button plenty of customization if you keep on telling that it will be lengthy but anyhow i will 
install everything in detail quick pull down and smart pull down you can enable or disable from here and vibrate on touch and quick settings when locked you can enable or disable from here columns and rows you can adjust here tiles and landscape and portrait mode you can adjust them expanded qs and move slider to bottom and expanded auto brightness also you can enable or disable from here into quick settings and edit icon footer text also given in the qs settings in the power menu you get advanced restart button that's fine enough hide on locks in optimal user action system settings you get again sensitive content and device controls you can enable on disable from here in gestures you get the system gestion into navigation and into the settings you get navigation pill if you enable that you will get this kind of pill and there is option to increase the gesture bar length and even the gesture bar radius also you can increase from here swipe actions are given haptic feedback also you can enable or disable from here that's how it is and two button navigation three button navigation like traditional way to keep it out you can keep it out and swipe to three finger screenshot and that also working fine as you can see the volume is a little bit slow or what i don't know i can't see any sounds maybe in the sound settings i need to enable that's how it is and lock screen settings also you get plenty of option music visualizer is given fingerprint error and authentication vibration you can enable or disable from here into the button settings you get again navigation bar system navigation keyboard cursor control it's disabled if you want you can keep to volume up or down based upon your customization requirement reorientation show volume panel and left and partial screenshot you can enable or disable from here into the animations you get all the and that 11 style animation if you want you can change them some of them and scrolling catch and back gesture animation you can disable from here into the miscellaneous setting you get gaming mode dynamic mode disable automatic brightness and show menu overlay and notification than macu and quick start apps those things are given and more opacity level also you can customize them you can increase or decrease from here use game driver like that other given performance tuning like that options are given that's how it is i will show you within a time the bgma gameplay then you will understand these are the gaming mode miscellaneous settings that's all you can increase or decrease the display brightness and notification brightness in ambient settings force brightness values and alarm blocker usb can configuration and radio information wave wave clock blocker also you can customize from this this is the home screen panel you get now into settings into the sound this all the settings you get you can enable or disable from here that's also present in the rom and vibration haptic feedback also you can enable or disable from here and there are the ringtone vibration pattern some of them are given you can choose according to your liking and phone ringtones all the things are working fine in my opinion that's not the problem and location settings also as you can see location also working fine google maps using that i never faced any problems and poco pods are included here and display color calibration you can enable and change it and high refresh rate option is also given as you can see 60 to 120 or 92 120 or 120 heads you can force that that's options are available that's really nice with android 11 and me sound enhancer you can enable them and choose the headphone type and a preset type but better than this use the moto audio that will be a little bit better and choose a preset those things are given and clear speaker option is also there and feedback strength level also you can adjust from here coming to accessibility menu the launcher used here is launcher that's quite obvious in evolution x roms front you can change them in the default app settings and accessibility menu you need to swipe this that i don't like it in android 11 only if you use navigation buttons then it is easy to access the accessibility menu compared to android 12 you just get a toggle here you need to swipe like this that it's a little bit difficult and guys in the comment section below if you like the android 11 style of accessibility menu or android 12 style of accessibility menu these are the settings and into security i mean the unlocking you get face lock fingerprint unlock and app locker all the things are pre-installed in this particular rom and encryption credential the rom is encrypted by default and google photos unlimited storage is also available in this rom that's not a problem and let me show you the fingerprint unlock as you can see just tap unlock the sounds for some reason it's disabled i checked in settings also but i am not getting some is it a bug or what i don't know if you have any solution do comment down in the comment section below again 
and uh, regarding the face unlock let me show you the face unlock is also very quick as you can see it's very very quick in my opinion let's see the bjm gameplay and wind of this video on battle life is also pretty good in this room it's not an undertale and this is how the gaming mode you get these kind of options you can keep up to here for performance if you want to power save you can decrease this that's how it works the gaming mode you won't get any real-time fps count here let here we go they dropped pine on i was going to boot camp anyhow definitely it won't be comparable with 60 fps but 40 fps it's fine enough as you can see it's fine definitely playable if you have any gfx tool then you can use that to improve 60 fps options I think those are bots that's how the performance I will come back let's check out the RAM management also that's also going to be working fine I guess as you can see it's booted out of memory that's quite obvious that's all guys in this video if you want to try the android 11 based evolution x then you can definitely try it out it's an lts support based rom and thank you for watching guys we'll meet you with another interesting video until that keep smiling bye bye for now